Hello guys, this is Universal Giant. Welcome back for more Let's Play Donkey Kong Land 3. Now with 100% less underwater shenanigans, hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Please. More World 2 if I didn't pay attention to see what the name of this level was, because nobody cares in these enemies that hop up like platforms for you, which is very convenient. They're like elevators that I don't believe you can kill. I've never tried killing them. Why would you want to kill them? These monkeys hurl rocks at you, presumably, so you can hide behind these barrels that are moving for some silly reason that I do not understand why. That you don't actually need. See how I was waiting for a barrel to nicely come by and save me from that monkey when in reality all I could just do was climb up on my own? That's because I'm lazy. And I enjoy being lazy, because unless I am not lazy, then I'm lazy. I hope that made sense. I'm not thinking. Is it easy to tell when I'm not thinking? Do you enjoy when I don't think, or do you prefer when I do think? Because I'm smart when I think, and I'm not smart when I don't think. I imagine you have the same problem, too, that you're only smart when you're thinking, you're not smart when you're not thinking. And there's a bonus barrel. Oh, it's so much fun to be doing these and not care about what I'm saying. Although I have to be careful, because if I say things that I'm not supposed to be saying, and if I miss any stars on the way down, then I miss stars and I have to go back and get them and there's not too much time to spare, although it looks like there is. I love when there's time to spare because that means that you can make mistakes and mess up and still complete the level anyway. And a checkpoint! Checkpoints are fun. You know, whenever I say or hear the word checkpoint, I think back to... Oh, uh, crap, what game was it? I want to say it's Cruisin' World, where the second... Checkpoint! There's this really happy woman that says checkpoint whenever you hit a checkpoint, and it is... I, I don't want to say it's the most awesome thing, because I know that's a flat-out lie. But whenever somebody says the word checkpoint, I just have that voice in my head, and it is... It is nice to have that voice in your head. I, I don't know. It, it makes checkpoints so much more exciting to hit. It's like, you think, a checkpoint, oh well, it's just some place that I'll go back to when I die, like now, when I died, and I was only dying to show off that that's where you go when you hit a checkpoint. Of course! But it just makes them so much more exciting to get! And I need excuses to find things entertaining and exciting, otherwise I don't find them entertaining or exciting, and you guys know this. In fact, I've gotten a lot of flack from people that say, you don't sound like you're having fun when you're doing these! Why do you do these if you don't have fun? And I do have fun, it's just that I don't voice it in my voice, like I am now, or if I'm not... I don't know what to make of that. And I'll be completely honest with you right now, I don't know how long I've been going for like this, I want to say it's about 40 minutes, I don't know how long I can keep this kind of energy up. Because most of the days during the week, I am completely spent, I'm out for a good like 10 or 11 hours doing my own thing, and I have no energy when I get back. So it's very rare that I actually have free time and the energy to actually do this sort of thing. So I want to take advantage of it by releasing it all at once for you guys to hear and love and have fun with. And there are monkeys down here that'll kill me unless they're singers. But again, I want to try not naming these guys by their names because I'm afraid that they might not actually be called zingers and that was a red herring. You think I was going to go down there, don't you? You wanted to trick me, game! This is a maze! It's not an obstacle course. You want to make me mess up by going someplace I shouldn't be going, so I wouldn't find the bonus token over here. But I don't know what those things are called! I should have gotten that barrel before I went in, because otherwise, as I am now, I die in one hit, which was only for demonstration purposes, don't you know? But I'm very much afraid of running out of that energy, because I do not know how much of it I actually have. And I know my voice is already starting to give out on me. If you, any of you guys have tried streaming for an extremely long period of time, or just talking non-stop for however you think you can go... I can't go very long like that, as you... What was the longest stream I did? How long was the holiday stream that I did last year. Wow, that seems like a long time ago. I have to get around to finishing that. But I've actually had a number of problems with streaming that are preventing me from doing that, even if I had the time, which I do not right now. The last time I tried to stream, it was a test stream for Soul Silver level grinding before the Pokemon League and the Elite Four. 
that I, I think a couple of you came to. I only announced it via Bulletin because it, I knew it was just going to be a test stream, and even if it was successful, it wouldn't be that entertaining. Three times out of four, my computer overheated and crashed. At least I assume it overheated because it just turned off randomly. It, it just shut down. And unlike the other times, the other problems I've been having with this computer where it's not that it crashes, it just completely freezes up. This was just a random crash that just shut off the computer without warning, and we already got this bonus. Why am I getting it again? So three of the four times, I, I assume it overheated and crashed like that. The other time, when it was actually working, we had a brownout. And it took me ten minutes to reset the router in order to get the internet to work again. Now, on, if you're unfamiliar with the term brownout, at least I hope I'm using it correctly, the power goes out for a very brief instance, maybe a couple of seconds, maybe not even enough, long enough to have your lights turn off completely, but long enough to screw up all of the electronics in your house, because they actually... What the hell was that? What? What? Why was there a can in there? Huh? I, I have the strangest urge to try that again, even though I know it's a bad idea. But brownout screws up all the electronics in your house, even if your lights don't have time to go off entirely. So it completely reset the router, and I had to do all of that stuff over again, and it wasn't fun for anybody. It actually got to the point where I said, you know what? If my computer shuts off randomly and the stream cuts off without warning, just leave. It's not going to be worth my or your effort to come back. And that's essentially what happened. I'm not sure if it's just because the emulator takes up a lot more processing power than I want it to, or than I expect it to, because I really think that this computer is more capable than it's proving itself to be. So I, I know this thing has a lot more problems than I'd like it to. But I'm trying to get as much out of it as possible simply because I don't like wasting things and I know this computer is capable of what I'm asking of it. It's just frustrating that way. But I haven't tried streaming from console yet and I'm hoping that if I can ever get back to that Galaxy stream that I can actually finish it because it's something that I'd like to do this summer, although I couldn't tell you when for the life of me, because I honestly don't know. And where's that barrel? I want there to be a barrel. Barrel? There's no barrel. Gosh darn it, I want to be lazy. Why can't I be lazy? Won't you let me be lazy? Why are some of these flags triangles and not squares? Or rectangles? That annoys me. We missed the coin anyway, are you kidding me? Okay, barrel. Yeah, there's a cannon right there. Why is that cannon there? Who put it there? For what purpose? Why does it exist? Did that barrel block me even though I was in front of it? That doesn't make any sense. Usually you can just rush past those guys and they won't bother you. And there's the dude up there. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Can you die, please? No, you can't. Let's respawn the barrel. So convenient that we have a respawning barrel here. Okay, we're done. Next level. It seems like we've been... Did we spend ten minutes on that one level? Why did we spend 10 minutes on a level? Hi, buddy, how you doing? Where the heck is that barrel I'm supposed to hit you with? See this thing? It is a nice indication for you to know that there's a dude back here. Because you wouldn't know that he was there if that barrel wasn't there, because you wouldn't think to turn around. Usually, if you see that barrel, it's a good idea for you to hide. The TNT guy I wasn't expecting to see, you scared the crap out of me, and we can go through these. I don't know why some of these you can go through and some of them you can't, and this one was only a bear coin. I'm waiting to see this one doesn't let you through. Yeah, there are some that let you go through, there are others that don't, and... I assume and you had similar ones in the Donkey Kong Country 3? But you can't tell which one is which in this one, or if you can, it's so subtle that it's not worth pointing out. TNT guy! Gotta love how TNT barrels have arms and move around on the ropes, because if they had legs, it'd be a little bit more annoying, don't you know? Oh god, I hope I didn't just give a game designer an idea. Is there anything down here? How did I know that there was a bonus there? I honestly had no idea. I'm not saying that to impress anybody. I really didn't know it was there. I'm just really, really paranoid about things, and... I... 
think it should be very obvious by now why, especially with Donkey Kong Land games. They can be really, really dickish about where they hide things. Does this wrap all the way back around at the beginning, and why do I miss some stars even when I go through them? And that happens in all of these games, too. Does the game just not have enough processing power to process getting all of those things in one fell swoop? Also, how do you properly spell that? Is it fell swoop? F-E-L-L? -L? Is it foul swoop? I've never actually seen it used in a book, or if I have, I didn't pay enough attention to remember, because that's not something I want to waste my remembering energy on. My opinion on memory is you remember a lot of things, but if you run out of memory, I, I guess it's very similar to computer. If you run out of memory, you just have to overwrite something that's a crusher that you've already remembered before. So if you have a lot of things to remember and you just don't have room to remember anything else, you either have to overwrite it or push it so far into the back of your mind that you don't... It doesn't really count as remembering because you couldn't remember it if you tried. Although the memory is still there. I don't want to say it's a repressed memory because when you say the word repressed, you think about something that you did consciously, as opposed to something that just kind of happens. I guess it, it's a, like virtual memory in that regard, I'm not sure. Save point! Do we want to go here yet? Now nah, let's keep going. One more Black Ice Blitz! We're unlike the land- oh god, it's with these levels. These freaking levels. Don't get me started on these levels. I don't know how I was able to get through these as a kid. They're pretty self-explanatory. I do not have the reaction time to deal with them. So we're going to be seeing a lot of dying in these levels. I'll be honest, whenever I play this game casually, at least on the emulator, I use save states because f*** this level. And they get worse and worse as the game goes on, as you can imagine. So I am very much not looking forward to these levels, which means you're going to be having a lot of fun looking forward to these levels because people don't like seeing me succeed for some silly reason. And I'm doing surprisingly well, he immediately dies. But I haven't gotten anything so far, I haven't gotten any bonuses, I'm not sure if there's a hero coin or not, if there is, it's all the way at the end of the level, so it doesn't matter. But thankfully, your lives stack even beyond the point where the game actually shows you how many lives you have, and there's a life right over there if you care enough to get it. Which I probably should, but I don't, and I jump for no reason, which means I only have one hit left and I'm probably going to die right now. See how much I died right there? I died so hard right there. Oh, I am... I am going to run out of crap to say so fast. When I'm doing these sort of reaction time games, I have no reaction time, I do not succeed when talking, because talking make no sense, and no sense make talking make sense to what? I am very, very thankful to whoever put that save point that right there. Whoever put that save point there, I love you. Death montage, go! Why is it that one guy? It's always that one guy. Not that one guy. You are not stopping me now, one guy. Not today. Not now. I remembered you were goddammit. There's the end of the level. But if you jump over it, you can get the stupid guy with the coin and the thing, and the thing and the coin, and there's a bonus back here. I did not know it was there. Well, that was lucky. I honestly 
did not expect there to be a bonus there, although I suppose I probably should have, because where else are they going to put it? Don't answer that. I'm pretty damn sure that we missed one at some point in the stage, and it's not going to make me happy. It's going to make me very much the opposite of happy. Please don't let there be a bonus there. I will be very upset if there is. How did you see... How are you supposed to see that? I mean, come on! You're kidding me, right? You're gonna make me do this on the... You're... You're... Well, at least you put me right back there so I can try it again, but... Why is this here? I mean, I know I just talked about how dickish you are about putting these bonuses in places, but... By God, you didn't have to actually do it! God damn it, game. Why do you have to do this? I think this is one of the bonuses where you can screw up in some places and not get all of the stars, and why do they put these things there if you can't react fast enough? Because it's not like the SNES where you could probably see more of the screen so you know these guys are coming. This is just memorization. I mean, they're there, but you can't see them, and that was my fault. I should have remembered. But you can't see half the crap. Even if it is on the screen, you can barely see the damn stuff. I mean, just look at the stars in the snow. Can you see them there? I can't see them there. I mean, you've got a hell of a set of eyes on you if you can see those there. But we're done this with this level. We're start selecting. We're ending. Universal Giant. See you later. Bye-bye.